Uh, good morning, Debbie. I'm just checking in on you. What, what the hell are you wearing? I'm trying to fit in. You're... It, where did you get that? Here? You, you... Did you steal a pair of John Lennon glasses? They got, like, a box. Really? Could you pick me up? You, no! No, what do you... Have you got native? What are you... No, I'm just trying to blend in, okay? You're wearing, like, dog tags and combat boots. You're carrying a shotgun. Okay, it's your point? It, but the morning light didn't get you, did they? No. 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 Well, I mean, I, are you sure? Because you're wearing their uniform. It's not a uniform. It's just, That's, just, just tie-dye. It's, tie-dye is their uniform. Well, this guy's not wearing tie-dye. Hip- this guy looks like, I don't know, like back in P.I. or something. And do you want to associate with a guy who looks like that? He's, he's wearing really a know. shark tooth as a necklace. She seems nice. Yeah, of course you'd say that. I gotta get in with these guys. I gotta, you know, infiltrate them and find out what's going on so I can ask about Beaumont. Alright, good idea. But work up to it. Don't just, like, jump right to Beaumont. We were, you know, just passing through with our little band of merry fucking hippies when that shit rolled in from the sea like whipped cream on a blueberry pie. That's a weird metaphor. That's a very weird metaphor. Well, it's not like the fog caught us by surprise, no man. This is what we've been preparing for. The end of motherfucking days. This is what the morning light has been preaching for years. And now, <laughs> now we got the last laugh. We're laughing our asses off. This shit, this shit is exactly what we deserved. I don't think anybody deserves this. I don't think anyone deserves that shirt. Very low neckline. Being prepared. We didn't really lose it. Important. We had some dudes run off when it first happened, got themselves eaten alive, could hear them screaming in the night. I was like, good fucking riddance, man. They were traitors, cowards. They didn't see the light. They didn't see that we need this. That the earth needs change. This is change. This is change for the better. Okay, somebody less empathetic than KG. I did not think that was possible. So, we got stuff to keep us safe. We were prepared. Some good voodoo man to protect those who believed. Those who trusted my word. Trusted the morning light. Here, we got everything we need. We'll stay put until the end comes. Markart himself leads us into the brave new world. Oh, I can't fucking wait. So you got everything you need out here. Okay, you got a shower. They do not have a shower here. That is evident. I can smell them. Somehow, through the feed, I can smell them. Yeah, but you couldn't smell me. I smelled worse than they did. We'll answer that question later. Our intrepid fucking hero. Pretty impressive stunt you pulled out there. I got my good eye on you. Hey! Hey, Cassie! Hey, Cassie. This is the one. Hey there, hot stuff. I like your style. And your weapon. Cassandra is our resident Mary Magdalene. Don't let those doe eyes fool you. She'll eat you up. I do have a big appetite. Comes with being Southern, I guess. Not that Jesus here would notice. He's immune to my female charms. Boy's got no spunk. Anyway, Che, I need to talk to you. There's an issue with, uh, you know. Who's doing the pickup? I am. And who else? I'm going solo. I can handle myself just as well as... Not gonna happen, babe. You could get your pretty little ass hurt bad out there. Your concern is heartwarming, Jay. 
I'm sure it's got nothing to do with wanting to keep an eye on me. Trust issues. Hey, feel like doing us a favor? Call it your ticket to a new Jerusalem. When we finished building it. <sighs> if that's the kind of company you're talking about, well then... I might be... flexible. <laughs> very, very flexible. She's talking about sexual positions. No! That's what that pause was. We get it's it, Che. Her idea subtlety. Fuck off. We could get to know each other better. I'd like to find out what lies beneath those still waters. Oh, and don't worry. It's not far. And we won't do anything you don't want to do. Okay with you? Huh. Huh. Jesus. I didn't know you could wink with both eyes. Okay, so this adds a new wrinkle into... I'm sorry, were you as distracted as I was? I was pretty distracted by... Yeah, I... Hasta la vista, amigo. So... Wow. Okay. Well, we know she's she's kind of close to blow Beaumont, or, or was. Yeah, but I mean, you totally got a shot. What, what what do you mean? I, what 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 do you think I mean? I, look, I, I don't I don't date girls. Okay. I thought you were I'm sorry, I thought you were into that. But you, you seem okay. Where'd you get that idea? You seem pretty into her. And she's you, pretty. You know, r and Rose, soft Rose. and looks like. Don't, okay, girls can be fun, but you know what? I'm not. I, no, I'm, I'm not really. No, no. Okay. No. You know, nothing you say gets out. I've had boyfriends, okay? What the fuck happened here? Somebody's been tampering with the security. We need to be careful. Lucky thing I have you here. Maybe I'll get to see you. Flex your muscles. I don't really have that many muscles. It's just these are needle arms. I mean, you have been swinging that hammer a lot. Yeah, and the physics of that continue to baffle me. I'm liking the direction your performance is going here, and that's pretty much the sweet spot for our relationship. Let's try to keep those metrics in the green. That means she likes you. How did she call me in underground? We're the Illuminati. Careful. Motion sensors. Yeah, he's paranoid. He really treasures his privacy. Okay, why do people keep on setting up these explosives and motion sensors and stuff? And is it really a good idea to set them up in, like, an underground tunnel? I mean, that's how you get a cave in. Oh good, set up the explosion around all these propane tanks, why not? Well, it, you know, sort of, it's a multiplier. That could work for or against you. Fuck's sake, who wears purple to a dead match? No sense of fashion whatsoever. There's a box over there somewhere. I've seen B use it. Controls the laser grids. If we could get that reactivated. Uh, how do I get this out? And maybe you're gonna make all the lights go green somehow. There's only one device. How do I do that? It's a good question. Just keep hammering away at the buttons, I guess? Yeah. Oh. oh! Oh! Okay, you, that happened. You must have shorted something out. Jeez. Oh! Oh, these are the guys she was talking about. I didn't see any purple uniforms. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. These... Did, oh, my God. I didn't... I didn't... I didn't kill them, did I? Did I? I didn't kill them, did I? No, no. I mean, this... You, you see how many... You see how many explosives are in this place? Yeah, and I just set them off. Oh, no, no, no. That was... These guys have probably been dead for hours. I mean, I have, have I told you about the Phoenicians? 
Oh, okay. There's drug in here. They, Hold they on. must have died. I remember B telling me this place connects to the right? sewers. Yeah. Probably the, the same person who killed the guard out you know, front, you know? Eyes open. The draw, I mean, they did that. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the draw get in there. It's not much of like humans in purple G.I. Joe Cobra costumes could do. Hold on a second. Quiet. I didn't want to open those other ones. Something behind them? Yeah, this think some draw got trapped back there. I couldn't hear anything. You had a good ear. Well, you know, ears this size can be good for something. <laughs> Another one of these little countermeasures. Keep the drag out. They don't like being zapped. Careful. A few things do. Watch your staff. Jeez, and this guy fell in his own trap. I mean, I don't think that was his trap. Okay, yeah, true. I mean, they literally are like the Saturday morning cartoon bad guys. You know, you can gun them down by the thousands. They never hit anything with their lasers. Yeah, I prefer not to do that. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Mean, of course. Nope. This wasn't here the last time, I swear. These are serious issues. Think you can figure it out? He has serious trust issues, yet he guards us with an elementary logic puzzle instead of a key. Yeah, well, you know. I mean, he's one of those mad geniuses, I guess. Probably one of those guys who thinks everybody's dumber than him. He has the hair for it. Okay, hold on a second. Try that one. This is actually embarrassing a little bit. There we go. There you go, okay. yeah. So here's the deal. I'm gonna level with you. It's better for everyone if this package doesn't end up with those fucking morning light hippies. Yeah, Seriously. probably. That was the idea. We're a different breed, you and I. We're better than they are. So let me take this with me and go through that door, and I will owe you a favor. Um. A big one. Uh, okay, I don't think I can do, do that, but, you know, I'm not gonna, like, take... I'm, I'm not gonna sorry, get back honey. to... Oh. I have to go. Debbie! Believe me. Uh, I hate this as much as you do. Debbie, can you hear me? We'll see each other again. Yeah? Are you alright? Can you grown a bit? I'd like that very much. You got little take care, okay? When I'm ready for you, you'll know where to find me. I promise. Uh, you got like little cartoon birds circling your head. I she just did something to me and I Okay. I've been, okay, focus focus on my voice. Try to come back. Gotta make like Taylor Swift and shake it off. Shake it off. Okay. Because the player's gonna play, 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 play. Stop that. Okay. Look what you made me do. <laughs> Damn it. I was actually starting to like her. Not like that. Uh huh. But yeah, I liked her. She was. She was nice. Yeah. And I mean, she did say she owed you one. Maybe I'll see her again someday. Maybe. Maybe I'll find out what was in that package. Maybe someday, very far off. <sighs> Damn it! Cassie's a runaway from Georgia. Parents reported her missing two years ago. She's a go-getter who gets what she wants. It would be nice to know what that is exactly. We dig up some internet records that reveal an 
an, an ardent interest in magic and sex. Hmm. Huh. This girl oozes corporate potential. I'm not going to lie. Her skill set intrigues me. I have a feeling you're going to see Cassie again at some point. When you do, don't hesitate to impress upon her the advantages of going corporate. In the meantime, keep paying the long game with the morning light and B. Whatever their angle is, it's even got the Phoenicians interested. Ciao, ciao. Hmm. Is she telling me to cook up with her? I mean, she might be. Either that or, you know, KG might be into her. Uh, and notice I didn't say two. You did not say two. But then I did kind of say two. Fucked it up. Yes, you did. Yeah. Let's see if I can get some information about that Beaumont character. Beaumont's got a direct line with Marcard himself. Knows him personally. Oh, That's shit. like knowing someone who knew Jesus, you know? The red telephone to our motherfucking savior. The morning light saved my life. Beaumont saved my life. Thirty years ago when we met, I was a wreck. Strung out, man, and ready to roll over and die. Couldn't move forward, didn't have anything to live for. But the morning light, they gave me hope. They made me see that there's a future for those who believe in change. I don't remember the exact details of what happened around that time. I'm pretty sure I was in Amsterdam at some point, and then I woke up somewhere in Scotland, and after that... Uh, memory of being in Venice. At some point in that moment, grabbed a hold of me and yanked me back into reality. All I had left from that time was a weird tattoo, a missing toe, and faith in the motherfucking morning light. Amen. Okay. That's, that's not creepy at all. So, you guys, you run around like you're young gods, like you rule the fucking planet. I gotta say, I thought I was arrogant back in the day, but I was nothing, nothing compared with you people. You take arrogance to a whole so new you people. level. We did. What, what do you mean, you people? Say what you will about the morning light, and it's probably all untrue. But from what I hear about your secret societies, we've got nothing. Templars? They burned down a city to destroy a single demon. And what the fuck is up with that? And the Illuminati? Look at what they did to this place. Puppet masters who don't give a shit about what happens to their puppets once they cut the strings. Well, that's kind of the way puppets work. Uh, don't know much about this drag, but I kind of like the idea of manufactured chaos. Change, man. It's what Morning Light is all about. But I'm betting. The dragon doesn't have the best interest of mankind on their minds. I bet it's all about getting power and wealth and control. Us? We're about setting the human spirit free. About making motherfucking butterflies, man. The smelly hippie is surprisingly well informed. Go on. Pretend you're a hero that makes you feel Pretend you're all about saving mankind from the darkness. Go out there and fight evil. Get your little rewards, your ranks, your whatever. It probably makes you feel good, right? Like a rat on a wheel, round and round it goes, chasing that little bit of cheese. Really well informed. I think he's telling me to leave. He's I think so. Ah. Ooh, dead eye Dan. That's ironic. Yeah. Two more of these guys. Gotta set them to rest before I can leave here. I think. 
Yeah, I think it's a good thing to do. Find Edwin the Doc. I'll probably find... He's a, sounds like a medic, so I'll probably find him with others. In the middle of them. Like there. That is not part of the Hippocratic Oath. And one more. Terry O'Reilly, the Irish tank. What purpose does a zombie medic serve? Is that... I mean, he was a medic before he became a zombie. But I mean, does it heal them, or does it make them more dead? I don't know. I mean, those are big thoughts. Speaking of big thoughts... Oh, dude, that's... That is an Irish tank, if I ever heard one. Not... Not very persistent. I guess that's everything on this side. Yep. Now... Now we have to cross that bridge. Yep. Initiate the merry chase. By chance, investigators discover Beaumont still in Kingsmouth after the fire. The Illuminati observe. He pretends to help dig through the debris, but he searches for something in the ashes. In their midst, he boldly watches those who seek him. The game is up. Several of the most powerful Illuminati approach to apprehend this arrogant man. In their midst, there is no more thought of banishment. Only execution. Look, sweetling, see the sleight of hand. Beaumont vanishes before the eyes of some of the most advanced magi of their age. Gone. Oh, he's a... Wow, okay. He's a slippery little weasel. So, what I'm getting is this guy must be pretty powerful, and he must be pretty tricky. He's like a... He's like Rachel Ghoul, but with worse, worse facial hair. That's all of them. Yeah, you get a strange feeling of completion. Out of sight but not forgotten, in the towns along the coast, people told stories of a foul-tempered and arrogant man by the name of Beaumont, who passed through telling anyone who would listen about the bastards up in Kingsmouth, who banished him twice for no reason. Beaumont swore revenge. Banished twice? This confused the Illuminati. The eldest members of the society remembered a man named Beaumont coming to Kingsmouth four decades past. Yet this most recent Beaumont was not old enough to be him. Once invoked, there is nothing so powerful as the curiosity of the children of Eye and Pyramid. I got a bear! Oh, what? Jeez, I was listening to the bees. I didn't even notice the bear. Is it? Is it? Is it? Bleeding, toxic. Oh, what? It's a poisoned undead bear. What the fuck? Hmm. 
may have played bass for Poison Undead there.